just a car driving through the Aston Exhibit Hall. Basically, I've been awake since 3 a.m. yesterday. I landed in Germany 6.30 a.m. today. Set up the booth. Now it's time for some nice German food. It's gonna be fun running this off tomorrow morning. I think Germany is a very health-driven country because they have signs everywhere telling you where to go run. That's my hotel. I'm staying here in Essen, Germany because this is where one of, if not the largest tabletop board gaming conventions takes place. And I'm here with Board Game Geek and we are going to be previewing literally hundreds and hundreds of tabletop games. I'm calling it the gauntlet because it is going to be just days. How many days we start? Today is, God, I don't even know what day it is. I'm not even sure what day it is. I think it's, is it Wednesday? I'm gonna have to check. Okay, yes, it is Wednesday today and we're gonna be here until Sunday. And every day we're going to be previewing loads and loads of tabletop games. We're gonna be live streaming them one right after the other. So the reason I'm calling this the gauntlet is because it's going to be a relentless pace. And I wanna make sure that I have, you know, high spirits throughout because I think as soon as one or two people crack in that booth, it's gonna change things for everybody. So gotta stay positive, gotta stay strong. And so every morning I'm gonna get up pretty early. I'm gonna go for a run. And I'm gonna get a chance to sort of get out of the convention hall mode and just sort of have some time for myself and then I'm gonna buckle down and get to it. So right now, off for a run. Okay, so this morning I had a plan. My plan was to get up, go for an early morning run, and I was gonna come here to Motel One. This is where a bunch of other people who are going to the Essen Fair are staying, a bunch of other board game media creators. And I was gonna walk by here, and I was gonna point at all these empty tables and chairs, because all these hardened gamers who'd be normally here playing games, I was gonna make fun of them for not at least having a few people here still in the morning playing games. What, they go to bed? And then someone, someone ruined this fantastic plan. And there's that someone. Efka, what, what are you doing awake? I was outwitted by you. I just, I, I felt like somebody had to be awake and just keep an eye on Just in on case. Effort. No, because it was a strange mix of people dressed very smart and also people who've just come from... Sorry, I don't really speak German. But it's someone who called the police because of the uh, No, right oh. there, I think. That was the police, I thought. The police, eh? Yeah. yeah. I thought time. maybe we were in okay. trouble for loitering out here. Mm. We look suspicious. Which would have been funny. Um, like, well, that's it for, for me. Mm. Goodbye. Good hanging out. Very good. You, rep you represented Motel One well. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Okay, good run. Now it's time to shower, shave this off, and get over to the hall. All right, we're gonna be going live in 20 minutes at twitch.tv slash boardgamegeektv. 20 minutes. And the first game that we're gonna be featuring is One Week Ultimate yeah. Werewolf. Was this just announced or I, have I been living under a rock? Under a rock, it's okay. been announced. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've been under a rock. I think there's a little, yeah, there's a possible slight error in the production though, because there's no way this is going to fit in here. Yeah, it's just got to be solve it. You solve it? Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with this way. Oh, you're close. Oh, you're right. Tell me when, tell me <laughs> okay, when I got okay. it. It does fit. You're right, Chad. Very good. got it. Okay. So we're just in one of the halls here, Hall 5, but there's several of them. It's a very large convention space, and things aren't officially starting today. You can tell because they're still setting up the booths here. Our booth is all set, though. We're currently recording. We've been going for about two hours uh, creating the previews, but the internet connection has not been great. It's been dropping it a little bit, and we're having a little bit of technical difficulty, but you know, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Things are going well, and I'm about to get ready to get on and start hosting myself, so I better get there. My 
my turn. So this morning I had a really good run, as you know, and I burned a lot of calories, it was great. And then this gentleman shows up and brings a whole bag of treats. <laughs> Can't help it. I guess I'm gonna go for another run. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it, I think. It's Worth really it. Good. Yeah. Thank you. That's Come awesome. <laughs> this convention hall is so big, you can just drive your truck through the whole place. <laughs> Crazy. So as you know, of course, we're in Germany, right? And we're in a very large convention hall. But no matter where you go, the Canadians will find each other. Canadian. Canadian. There's a. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, this is too many Canadians. <laughs> it's too many, too many Canadians. I'll, I'll back over here. I like the uh, authentic Roman footwear. These are, I have to dig these up from a grave to get them. <laughs> hey, brother, good to see you. Are you my I will say, that has got to be one of the best parts about whether it's coming to here to Essen or any board game convention is you see people you only see once or twice a year. It's like, um, it's like going back to camp every year and seeing old friends again and you just catch right back up, you're laughing, you're having a good time, and uh, that's certainly one of the perks of being able to go to a show like this, right? Someone special in the booth. Look at this. My pal, Steven. Hey. The video's not done yet, okay? The video, why isn't the video? It'll be done soon. Steven, <laughs> this is not going out to like... Oh, it, it will. It, this will go somewhere. Uh, there is a video with me and Steven that will go up on the channel eventually. <laughs> it's a very eventually. video. It'll be good, it'll be good. You don't get arrested in the country. It's true. <laughs> I did almost get arrested in a foreign country. That's a story for another time though. For now, we record. So everyone who comes to the booth gets to show one or two games. Then there's this one guy who shows up and brings, this is too many games. This is too many. Too many. Too many games. Teamwork. You know what's better than one floor of lights and lamps? Two floors. <laughs> you know what's better than two floors? Three floors. And there's even more. They had, they had, they had to hide them because if you saw more, your brain would just melt. So it's, that's, that's a lot of lamps. Too many lamps. Day one is done. We survived. We got through. The first full day of recording previews, we packed in more than what we planned. I'd say that's pretty good. Hotel rooms in Germany, I've noticed something the two times I've been here. When I travel in North America, one of the things that I notice all of the hotels do without fail is they tuck the sheets in at the bottom of the bed really tightly, like I'm talking military tight. And that means every time I get into bed as a taller person, my feet go to the bottom of the bed and then they're forced to be jammed into this very tight, restricted space. I don't know how I'm supposed to angle my feet to fit in there comfortably. And I have to think, I'm not the only person who experiences this. So my solution is I rip all the sheets out of the bottom of the bed. And I suspect I'm not alone. <laughs> Maybe I am, you can let me know in the comments below. But either way, Germany agrees with me. However, I feel like they've almost gone too far in the other direction trying to overcorrect. See, nothing's tucked in. Wait a second, where's the sheets? There's no sheets! <laughs> Where did the sheets go? There's supposed to be a sheet, right? Like a little thin sheet that you'd pull up over yourself and then there'd be like, the... and what's going on here? Why, why is this sort of folded up origami style sideways? Like, am I supposed to sleep with it like this? Or is it supposed to be, it's like this, right? This must, yeah, it's gotta be like, but no sheet, that's, it's a solution. I guess it's okay. I mean, it's, it is pretty comfortable. I'm probably just overthinking it. Yeah. <laughs>